Uh, what happened last week? A wedding. And some really dramatic uh, prophetic stuff. Chance can see into the future now, guys. It's very dramatic. <laughs> and I am not concerned about it at all. You must be a tiny bit jealous. You've spent your life studying the stars, trying to figure out their meaning and their futures. I mean, Audra can control it. I just don't, doesn't, don't think she intellectualizes it as much as Chance or consciously realizes how much she does it. Understandable. <laughs> Uh, I believe we left off having a little long rest. I believe so. I don't see a bunch of the twenties being be, the one hundreds being rolled recently, so I assume that would happen. Uh, did I properly manage the? Oh, I didn't properly manage the arcane supplies last time. I think we used like sixty. I think I included Something it like in the video. If you want to go back and double check from last week, uh, I'll call it sixty for now, just so I can keep rough track, and then I'll go back and double check. All right. Uh, let me open up my. I have my thing. <laughs> Nice. I open up my funny little spell tracker and uh, start rolling. I've got woe back finally. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel is fine, but it just doesn't have the same oomph to it as woe. Uh, so five plus four is nine. Only one hot chalky. Only one hot chalky. Uh, so fourth level. Use it well. Just... You're gonna need it in the day to come. You mean you're going where I think you're going? Let's do this going down on a 96 up. Nope. Did we do? Spell stuff? I honestly cannot, cannot remember. That's what we're resolving now. Yeah. Because uh, okay. we've taken a long rest. Okay. Have you not, am I good to roll my... I'm slightly out of it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, 90 up. Cover the rope. Blech. That's an 11% chance. Then my last thing is increasing the spell power. Uh, okay, time to just spam 60 100s in one go. Bonk. I well, think whatever the 99 and 93 might be. Oh god. Uh... So no, no, no. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight them. Nice. That That's one. everything that I got, because I need Nine. to actually make more custom spells. When you complete a spell, is there the possibility of casting that spell if it is a ritual one? Yes. Okay, in that case, can I have a second character sheet, please? Thank you. Simulacrum? No, if this is a custom spell, then this could be literally anything. Yes. Uh Also, what do you think of the uh, Five, the thing right at the top of the page? Nine, right? I kind of got bored last night. I noticed. Nine. It's I like, think it suits. It's very... It's, it's very the cooler providence. Yes. 
do you want me to convert it to an NPC sheet, or are you okay with like a standard sheet? Uh, I it needs to be an NPC sheet for what I need to import it from. Cool. Uh, that should be all done. Thank you kindly. Current Providence art is like something from like a sci-fi game, and then the new one is the kind of thing I'd expect to see in like Baldur's Gate. Yeah, very subtle hints, like the image is darker and things like that. She's got her hair done, did? Yeah, it's meant to be more out of it. Yeah. Okay, time to time to copy text. Oh boy. Cool. With that, uh, I think everyone's done that's here and rolling, and so you will enjoy the rest of your uh, long rest. Uh, Audra and Chance have been in the quote unquote bridal suite, or honeymoon suite, whatever. Um, is, I assume Chance has just passed out all night. <laughs> nah, it's like Chance passes out for eight hours because he takes his rest like after going through like this insane, tumultuous, like ardent thing, and then just kind of like wakes up and she goes, "Okay, I'm good." Oh, you're you're good. <laughs> okay, if you if you're doing the spell prep. Uh, now then, I'm assuming that is your like your day of it today, if you're doing it after you wake up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna see. Like it would be a part of that long rest. Okay. Yeah, I get you. So when we long rest again is when I'll do it next. It's not like I'll trying to like get into like multiples. Yeah. No, I just brain farted. It's like okay, sleep over, long rest over. Forgetting elves exist, they don't sleep, they have long rests. Um, no, just, yeah, just a little brain fart, don't worry. Uh, but everyone enjoys their evenings, I hope. Sleeps well. Here's to hoping. I'll drink hot chockies with that. Medium sleep. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you do in the morning? Um, during the time chances up, uh, can I make a roll to try and make a sketch from memory of the photo of, uh, that we saw on Dr. Raphael's desk? Yeah, you can. Um... Proficiency in calligraphers tools. I know this is more art than calligraphers, but would that give any sort of like, hey, I can kind of use that to have some like basically proficiency or yeah. like cross proficiency? Uh, roll it as a performance check and add um, your proficiency in calligraphers tools to that. Uh, so as performance, so basically... And add guidance, because I would give you guidance. Yeah. So this is going to be plus a d4 plus 5, then. Uh, so 20... Uh, 24. Nice. You're able to make a yeah. pretty okay, um... Like a sketch. It's not, like, coloured in. That's going to take some more time. Yeah, that's all chance was really going for because i presume with like calligraphy he would have like proficiency to like sketch but not to color mm. uh because that would be like an entirely different uh, skill set but at least with like you know sketching and inking and whatnot that that's kind of similar enough to calligraphy like the strokes of the pen Painter's so chance. supplies exist, so that would be more suited to the colouring portion anyway. Yeah. 
Uh. Yeah, you've uh, you've produced a very good um, pencil and ink like outline sketch of something very recognizable as the picture. Uh, all right. That that's what Chance basically does with a bit of his morning, and then he's going to uh, wait for Audra to get up and everything. And I mean, the second you're up, she's up. <laughs> yeah. Unless you get out of bed really quiet. <laughs> uh, My passive much. perception by this point is stupid high. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty okay at stealth, but I don't think I'm that good. Unless I roll very well. Would you be trying to be stealthy? No. Uh, you, yeah, she would know. Yeah, but uh, she'd just be, like, chance. trying to, like, get out of bed, like, using, like, telekinesis to, like, replace him with a pillow. <laughs> chance, I know this isn't you. <laughs> it totally is. Uh, punches the pillow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> You're a freaking liar. Okay, okay, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. It's kind of like that sleepy glare. <laughs> okay, I guess we have mm, stuff we have to do today. Yeah. Uh, I do want to head over to Scarlet Dragon, uh, stop in, uh, see Kage before he's off and before we're off. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, we also should pick up that, um, the bowl with the gems that I ordered for, for Heroes Feast, because I prepared, I prepared that spell, I prepared it. Oh, that's right, I should get my spells in order. Uh, and Jance quickly flips through his book. Peers over the book? What are you going to pick? Uh, well, I added this one last night, cause, or a couple last night, because I thought they would be useful. Um, well, not last night, but I think I put the finishing touches on the, uh, on the proper writings of it. Uh... But I need to do pick up some uh, material components for uh, this one, and Chance taps on a page. Uh, it'll help us see things. Um, can I tell anything about the spell by like reading it over over your shoulder? Uh, I don't know if just where the magics are. To, I guess that's up to Ren because I mean this would be like arcane, not nature. Hmm. I, my Ar arcana is pretty good. Can I roll arcana to understand Chance's spell book? Yeah. I would say it's six level spell, so because uh, it's true seeing that he's pointing at. Oh, I know true seeing, but yeah, you know true seeing. Yeah, I know that spell. I don't. I mean, I don't. I can't cast it, but I know of it. I figured it'd be a good idea to have uh, going into something that potentially can play tricks on the mind. You know that was that was my my thought too with the with the heroes feast where you know you can't be frightened and you make wisdom save the damage. And... Oh, I mean, I I can't be frightened. That'll be good. Uh, I also uh, have the ability to make a. Something similar. Uh, however, if you can do it in to everybody. It could. I can't really do it for everybody because I can probably get like one, two, three. Like I can get four of us, maybe. No, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can get uh, everybody but one person, but it does cost my most powerful spell that I can cast for the day, uh, so I wouldn't be able to teleport us there. Ah, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And I can, I mean, I have, I have tree stride, you know, tree, well, trees would be a place for prepared, but that only gets us to here, and then we have to get to there, and then it's a whole thing. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, there's a, also a chance where this isn't some place that I have been, I have only seen. 
uh, there's a very good chance that that teleport can go awry. How how good is the chance that it's gonna go awry? Um. Well, uh, I I've seen I've seen it. Uh, there's about um, a forty five percent chance we're going to be like bang on target. Uh, we have about a ten percent chance of being like a bit off. Uh, you know about. Uh, about a 10% chance of, you know, maybe being uh, very far off. And about, you know, don't, don't worry about this one, but, you know, about a 33% chance that uh, there may be a mishap with the, the teleportation. Is there anything we can do to get... That sounds, that sounds dangerous. Uh, well... The only way to change is if somebody has something from the area, which I highly doubt, um, or if I become very familiar with the area. Okay, 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 okay. Um, actually, this this could even be arguably that I've only, you know, I, I would say, you know, I have a good idea, but there's also a chance that uh, I could have a less good of an idea than I know. Uh, and it could be even worse odds. So, Ren. <laughs> yes? Um, Audra's gone through multiple traumatic experiences and has combed through several people's brains. Uh, does anyone else have knowledge that I've peeked in, especially like the twins whose brains I basically downloaded, um, of Ren Dion? Um, the twins don't seem to have any knowledge of Rendon, no. Okay. You could, like, roll a history check to leaf through your archives. I will do so, and I will guide myself. You, 23. You've had, like, tales in the, uh, in the archives, um, of, like, evil, or, like, cursed, or, uh, mythical places there was like a book that you read as like uh, like a stories of like a you know ghost stories for naughty kids type book um as a bedtime tale and there were there were several of them um like there was the uh the kufo akaza rhombus an area where people apparently always crashed if they were flying over it um, or otherwise just weren't able to make it out if they went into it. Um, there were like some mythical caves that just like kept looping back on themselves once you entered and there was no way out. You never really bought that one because like if no one ever got out how did anyone write the story? Yeah like how did they know? How did they know? Yeah but then there was one of the walking castle in the sands that knew where you were and hated where you were. You always discounted it as a fairy tale, a cautionary tale to stop kids wanting to wander out too far away from Grove. Okay, so you're gonna. Uh, well, maybe actually, maybe you won't think this is weird. I have a book hidden under the bed in Artemis's mix. That might have, like, maybe, like, an illustration. Maybe that would help. Potentially. I mean, I also know the, um... Well, I've... We've seen descriptions of it, and I've seen, um... Recreations and via the dream spell. Mm -hmm. so. I mean, I, it, just, it just can't hurt. Because, I mean, there's, like, a description, and there's, like, a, a whole story, and, like, a picture. But don't judge me. I mean, that's, you know. Well, if I... Is there any way for you to scry on the area and for me to see that? That would be more helpful than descriptions. If I had scrying prepared today, maybe I could do that. But I didn't. That's okay. I'm sure everything will be fine. 
Although, can I just use my psychic abilities to share my memory of that that portion of the storybook with Chance? That's also doable. You can like um, project images into his brain. Yeah, I I, I do that without warning. <laughs> Chance is just not along. Yeah, that's roughly what I was shown by Emosha. I mean, it didn't have, like, a name in the book. It was just a walking castle in the sand, so I, I kind of never, you know, I had to, like, stop and think about it. I read so many books. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, we should probably... I mean, everybody else is probably already up by now. It's what? The crack of dawn? <laughs> you think Buck oh, and I yeah. live your friends? We have a difficult day ahead. More like Audra's perception of time is that everybody always gets up at the crack of dawn because she just loves to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess we go to the marketplace on the way to the Scarlet Dragon. Yeah, uh, well, I'm... I don't know if you need anything, but I am just looking for the components for true seeing, which means I need to go get 25 points or 25 gold worth of an ointment that uh, that's made of mushroom powder, saffron, and fat. Oh, you should be able to find that in the marketplace. <laughs> yeah, I strangely need to find the same thing. That's a that's a weird spell component. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Great moisturizer. Weird well, spell component. Exactly. The first component's to get you high, the second one is to make you cry, and the third one is to, I don't know, confuse Stop the shit out of you. There you go. The marketplace is generally open quite early, trying to beat the afternoon sun. Uh, do we run into Providence, then? Yeah. I think I would also like to be there. Yeah, we we run into Providence and Erezid at the Mushroom Dealer. You know, you know what they say about the Mushroom Dealer? Real fun guy. Is that all they say? He has snazzy pants. And a great hat as well, a... don't forget my hat. Well dressed. I mean, the hooky eye is right there, so you know. Welcome, welcome. I hope you've got much room in your pockets for my mushrooms. Yeah. Um. Could I get like uh fifteen golds worth? There's a smile that creeps over the vendor's face as he. Realizes he could just do whatever right now. Here you go. They call that a dragon's ear mushroom. Very rare. 15 gold in of itself. I would like to do a nature check on this here mushroom. Go for it. Um, it is, it is not a dragon ear mushroom, you have never heard of such a thing. Um, what it, it appears to be is a common uh, tree creeper. Well, common in these parts anyway. They require trees to grow on. I give this guy the most betrayed, heartbroken, little guy, sad, pathetic look <laughs> I could ever give anyone in my entire life, specifically in an attempt to make him feel bad. You know, I have got just the mushroom to turn that frown upside down. Uh, yeah. Over 15 gold. Much obliged. Uh, they hand over the mushroom and then turn uh, to back towards Arizid. 
Here, sweet these and some tea. Drink the tea, and you'll feel much better. Don't, don't put it in the tea. <laughs> They have all sorts of medicinal properties, mushrooms. Hay can help you lose weight, help you gain weight, help you become more attractive, less attractive, more alive, less alive. They're gonna kill me? No, I don't know if they're gonna kill me. I was just trying to find a diamond. I shouldn't be over here. Vibe yes, check on this vendor. <laughs> they will help you relax your mental state. They help. Bolster your constitution. He's actually being genuine. Whoa, okay. I I don't know. I don't want to be less alive. And I also don't really think I can stand to lose any more weight. It's hard out here. Arizona, uh, these are all different, they're all different mushrooms. They're all different. I was doing a list. Oh, oh, I thought it was one mushroom. I was like, that's a lot of properties for one mushroom. I don't think that's safe for me to put in my body. Most of um, it would be quite contradictory to one another. Yeah, I thought you were, it was like snake oil. I don't know. Uh, do, uh, do you, uh, can I, uh, constitution mushroom? Yes, a constitution mushroom. Where I'm come from, we call them old durables. Two gold, just for you. Okay, I fork over the two gold and then I go, so I put it in a tea, I don't just eat it whole? You can, but it's slower to release. Okay, it's better thank it's you. It's more liquid. Yeah. If you want beforehand, you can like pickle it and then just like chug the pickle. What, that sounds like the worst out of every option that was presented to me. You don't like pickles? I, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't think I want to pickle a mushroom and drink the pickling liquid. Tea there's a difference between liking. I think liking pickles is normal. How I think liking healing potions is insane. Potion? What do you think is in the healing potion? Is, is it pickling liquid? I'd rather not say. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go make a tea. Bye. <laughs> There's a just walks off very confused and kind of sad that he thinks Chance just got scammed and he didn't say anything. Oh no. <laughs> Chance knows magical components and stuff. He doesn't know mushrooms. I mean, as far as I know, as long as he paid 15 gold for it, it counts, right? Exactly. Are we gonna do a deep dive into, like, the nature of value under capitalism? He it's paid... weird. I, per I would prefer to play D&D. Yeah. He paid 15 gold, he was given a mushroom that he pay that is worth <laughs> This mushroom gold. is now worth 15 gold. Uh, Chance will then go try and find uh, 5 or 10 more golds worth of fat and saffron. Um, there is a spice vendor that is set up uh, kind of on the outside of the open air market, next to a very, very small gembe. Uh, next to them is someone that looks like they're a cattle rancher or similar, a farmer of some form. Both of them sell what you need. Alright, uh, Chance will attempt to get five gold of what he needs from each of them. Like a few sprigs of saffron and like a, I don't know, a small flask of, of fat. You get a very small amount of saffron for the money, but you do get some saffron. Uh, uh, you get like a hefty sized flask of fat. Perfect. Uh, Chance looks to Audra. Is there anything that you need? Oh, I only have to pick up my, my gem encrusted oh, yeah. bowl. I assume I that, see that some next. point here is where you run into Providence? Who has all of the stuff, and is kind of just looking at something in her hand, but from the front on you cannot see what she's looking at. But she's smiling at it. Whatever the hell's in her hand. 
just not notice you approach. Chins will look. Is that Providence? A hundred, a hundred percent. Yeah, that's Providence. Why is the, is something throwing you off, or? No, I'm just curious. Well, I, I thought, well, I, I did like a first take and saw a mad woman looking at her hand and smiling, and then I did a double take and it was Providence. So, Audra's gonna look at her hand and smile and like, and then stop immediately and they go, "What's weird about that?" <laughs> yeah. Chance shrugs. It's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Providence. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi! What you got there? Oh, an old friend. And she, like, throws the invisible thing out of her hand. And next thing you know, there is a snake that is huge, made of glass, just next to her. I will spend one of my ring points to cast Speak with Animals. <laughs> Give me a second, I'm Hey, buddy! <laughs> you get no response. It cannot speak back. <laughs> Can it understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. Oh, no. oh, you're so shiny! Look at your scales! <laughs> Just kind of stands there, vibing. Can, can I pet? Do I have your permit? Can you nod? Can I pet you? It comes up to you goes through you uh and then you see it on your shoulder like in tiny form pet 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 oh lovely it seems to almost like it works like you manage to pet it but anytime you put a, a little bit more pressure in it's like you're putting your hand through the light and it sort of almost molds around your hand that will be cool. So, um, where did, where did, this is not a normal snake, you know that, right? I'm, it, no, it's not a snake, no, I know that. What is it? Um, physical manifestation of the weave? I mean, that's all magic. That's all magic, the physical manifestation. That's exactly what Roya is. Roya, hi, you have a name! It disappears into your shoulder and reappears on Providence's. Audra's visibly disappointed. It just keeps doing that. I'm not gonna be able Unless it gets to told it. otherwise. Yeah. Jen squints at it, looking at its makeup and everything. Huh. Interesting. So where the hell are you two here? I thought you'd be... I don't know. Doing marriage things. This is marriage things. We're shopping. Uh, getting ready to depart for the day. You know, it would be nice to take some time, but we also have a war to win, world to save, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, it seems like every time we stop for even a small break, something catastrophic happens. So. Oh, I'm fully expecting, like, some... Yeah, something bad absolutely... completely happened while we were at the wedding. 100%. Yeah, we, we took, like, one day off. We're just going to find out that, like, Jaross has fallen. I'm not sure I can handle that information. Um, So we're going to go to the Castle in the Sands. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go... Uh, We're going to go tell Matrio she's a bitch. Uh, punch her in the I don't know if we have to say that. Look, you didn't travel with her for, like, a few days. Uh, it's... Uh, actually, you did. I did! Mm -hmm. A few days yeah. is all it takes. Listen, I don't support the undead thing. Like I said, Swift punch to the kidneys, then we can worry about Avalakre and Cool and uh, the defensive... Defense of uh, Grove, then Jurass, and then we can put the sun back in the sky after people have time to uh, get to high ground. Okay, so we're seeing Matria first, or are we just going there? 
Oh, oh, no, no, no. We we're, we're going, uh, well, from what we were told, Manchuria resides in, like, the heart of Rendion. So I presume we're just going to have to go uh, deal with her to get the castle to be dealt with. Alright. Um. Oh, you guys, you guys bought the same components. That's so funny. Yeah, I didn't really know why. I just felt like I needed them. I mean, it's a good spell. What spell? True sight? True was? seeing? However it's pronounced? I don't know. I just do stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, those are components for a particular spell that allows you to, like, you know, see through dimensions, stuff like that. Oh boy, I get to see the extra dimensional horrors when we go to castle I'ma fuck your shit up. It's okay, because I have a spell that's hopefully going to help protect your mind from the extra dimensional horrors. <laughs> no, you need to protect the extra dimensional horrors from my mind. Otter kind of sits there and thinks about that for a longer than socially acceptable amount of time. <laughs> anyway, what's the spell? Oh, my spell? Uh, Hero's Feast. So we will have to e eat together before we go in? Before we leave? Do you guys want to do it before we leave? That's probably best. We can have, like, a, uh, it's going to be so fun. It's like, it's going to be like a family breakfast. Well, uh, we're on our, well, we need to pick the up the, the, what's needed and then heading to the uh, inn. Um, I don't know if you want to come along or, or what. I'll just meet you there. Sounds good. I assume I'm able to pick up my order without incident. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to mark off money. So my hands components. Oh yeah, uh, well, like, well, I'm, I'm presuming we're talking, like, nearby, uh, so Chance is gonna, like, walk back over to the spice vendor right quick, yep. uh, and then buy another ten gold worth of, like, herbs. Uh, cause I, I, I still need to recast Find Her Miller. <laughs> okay, just, um, random herbs. Herbs, it doesn't Yeah, matter. just random herbs, just grabbing, like, five, ten golds worth. Um, yeah, you get like a little sack that costs you 10 gold and it has a very herbal smell to it. Perfect. Uh, Chance is going to then, uh, uh, oh, um, I'm going to need like a few minutes as well. I don't know if you want to go ahead, start getting things ready and I'll meet back up. Uh, I just got to recast Find Familiar. I haven't done that since Draft, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I'll I'll go get things set up. It is kind of you know it takes a it takes a while to do. So I'll get started. Could you also, you're fast. Um, could you also make sure you can like grab everybody so we can all eat together? Up to twelve people can benefit. So I might as well mm. grab some people around town that we like, right? Yeah, I say if we know where Sophia's at. Um, I know Kaga said that he was staying at the uh inn. We also can probably grab Trim, uh, Quinn, uh, Dune. I don't know who else would be able to fit in and be there. That sounds about right. That's one, two, three, four. Oh, we could get like two more people if I run into anybody. Okay, okay, I'll see you there. Mm -hmm. Give him the cheek, and then I run off. Uh, Chance will just, like, vibe over here, like, a bit off the way. Uh, I, I realized that uh, the the Chance would be very specific of telling people that he, like, any herbs or anything from that vendor would need to be in, like, a pouch or something. He is not directly handling them. Because they're technically plants, which would technically just die in his hands. Yep, that is correct. Uh, they are in a pouch, and the pouch is made from leather, not twine. 
which I also feel mm. like is an important distinction to make for you now. Yeah. Uh, so Chance will um, like basically just take out like a small stone bowl, I presume he had from the first time, or something, to burn these herbs. Yeah. Uh, to ritual cast uh, Find Familiar. And what familiar would he summon? Uh, say one this last time, the Braven. Okay. We just pop back into existence, uh, and then uh, Chance would just kind of like smile and give a thumbs up of like, hey, sorry, buddy. I, I, you know, you got kind of killed and then I just kind of left you for a while, but welcome back. The raven has an almost disgruntled, ruffled look to itself. Uh, Chance will offer a shoulder to sit on. Do you feel like the claws were un uh, the amount of claws that it used to perch onto your shoulder were unnecessary, but it accepts the perch nonetheless? Perfect. Uh, Chance will then get up, put away what he has, uh, and then begin going about uh, trying to round up everybody for a nice breakfast. Lovely. Um, so you round up, like, uh, trim, um... So Trim, like the party, Trim, Sophia, Dune, Quinn, uh, I think, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, then if there's anybody else, uh, Chance sees, like, be? in his travels. Oh, well, Kage as well, so there's one more, um, seat. So if Chance just sees, like, somebody while they're all heading towards... He'll just, like, grab somebody that they know. Be like, hey, you're coming for breakfast. Yeah, you would, um, find Dune, like, helping uh, Azure dig more pits outside. So you can mm. invite the pair of them around. Yeah, perfect, if Azure can fit inside. I don't know if the type of dragon to polymorph... Uh, he goes, of course I can polymorph, look at this. And then he just, like, hunches shoulders down and just tries to make himself look a lot smaller. You know what, buddy? We can bring the, uh, I'm pretty sure there won't be any issue if we bring the tables outside. That Come on. Nice. Or I could just sit by the window. Either or. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I think Audra has actually, actually already realized the awkwardness of bringing her own food to a restaurant, so actually is setting up on the grass outside. <laughs> oh, that makes like way more sense, yeah. Okay, then we're gonna have like a big picnic like over here then. With all the party invited. You say Sophia as well? I feel like that was said. Yeah, yeah there's, we, we can have Quinn. 12 people benefiting, so Sophia, Quinn, Nyx, if Nyx wants to come. Yeah. We currently have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh. Cool. That'll be it then. There we go. We we have our twelve. Ah, heroes. Okay, so Audrey kind of like puts the plate down uh, or the bowl down in the middle of the grass, and like a, a like massive like picnic style feast unfolds. And there's a lot of like French toast and waffles and sausages and like a bunch of pastries with like fancy jams and marmalades, and also obviously like eighteen different types of coffee, juice, milk. Anything your heart could desire for breakfast kind of just unfolds beautifully and in the most perfect version you can imagine. 
I noticed it said up to 12 other creatures. So the total is Oh, yes, yeah, so 13. Yeah. So we could, I realized Quinn could fit in there too. Perfect. Perfect. We have uh, a, a, a grand old time, I presume. Okay, everybody eat up. If you don't eat, you don't get the benefits of this spell. So eat. <laughs> oh, I forgot there was a token there if I were already. If mm. I'm already. <laughs> no worries. Thanks. Doppelgangers. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not again. Uh, during... Oh, go ahead. Would we roll the 2d10 hit points individually? Uh, I, I rolled. I already rolled okay. it. But I think I just rolled it. Everybody, yeah, everybody gets the same number. So, everybody gets 8 extra 8 temporary hit points. Um, do not forget, you get you are immune to... You're cured of all diseases and poison, if you are diseased or poisoned. Um, you've got immune to poison, you cannot be frightened, and you make all wisdom saving throws with advantage. Is it temp HP or an increase to the hit point maximum? Oh, it is an increase to the hit point maximum, yeah, so you can start temp, temp HP on top of that. Yeah, it's it's the a same temporary as temporary increase, It only lasts for 24 hours. Yeah. 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 Do make a note that you like, uh, after the next long rest, basically the that hit point, your hit point maximum is going to go down a bit. I mean, I'm just I putting just it in as temporary hit points because I don't get temporary hit points normally. That's also fair and valid. So I've just put my hit point maximum as like uh, what my normal HP plus eight. Just had double. But yeah, that's exactly what I did too. So no, I just no. <laughs> oh, I just changed it, but made it. A... Yeah, I just made a little thing, like a little handout thing, so I can actually see the other benefits as well. Someone that I play with just does it in brackets, so they have hmm. like two uh... maximum hit point figures, and one of them is in brackets, and I can't tell which is which or why anymore. Oh. Strangely enough, I think that's Shade, because um, I do that. It's not. Well, not like I remember. Isn't it? I wasn't thinking of you, I was thinking of Moors. Ah. Yeah, that also tracks. <laughs> the feast goes well. A little awkward with like people that don't really know each other. And a dragon. I spent probably too much time just hanging out with the dragon, like not wanting him to feel out of place. Azure appreciates that. Uh, at some point as well, uh, Chance would want to have a conversation with Kage as well. Um, he will for like he'll kind of like pull off to the side a bit, so like kind of out of earshot a little bit. Of like maybe like walking like to, to look towards like this pool or something uh, as he's going to pull out the drawing that he did and hand it over um well uh when we fought squad there was um it seemed that she had mastered some kind of time magic and sent us uh, back in time uh she was also using constructs from a brown calamity time um we ended up in a facility, and uh, that was ran by, I think, I don't know, um, the connection and everything, but uh, Dr. Raphael Coda. Um, On his desk was a picture, and I've tried to recreate it the, the best of my ability, because I think, uh, just as a thank you gift for helping me yesterday. I know of the name. Thank you. I have never known what they look like. That... That is my mother. She would like this too. <clears throat> um... They seemed close. Seems as well as... A thought crossed my mind. From what we were able to gather, it seems that they passed with the Calamity. That was not a natural death, was it? No. There's... I mean... Ow. 
Never, never mind. Uh, I, I spells that I don't know. My apologies. It's okay. You know that my mother was able to see all of the different shapes of the weave. She made many prophecies, many of which came true. The first one that she ever made, she made when she was no older than I when she died. And it foretold of hers and her brother's deaths. Yes, I believe I have written down here to a bunch of the prophecies. We ran into a book uh, within the within this uh, research institute. I believe it went something along the lines of uh, one of hearts made of law, one of wishes, so entwined yet eternally repulsive. One dies when the sun dies, and so too the other follows. Mm. But they were always destined to pass. Maybe the reason why our bloodline has these powers is because part of us is intertwined with the sun now dead. An interesting theory. Won't be long once that we have dealt with Cool's forces and the threat that Rendion poses that we will be setting the sun back where it should be long. We have everything we need. I look forward to that day, nephew. Chance will nod. Um, I do recall a note as well. Um, uh, that we found in the desk. Um, is there any possibility that uh, you know the bloodline or the ch child or wife of Raphael could have survived? There was talk of Maroki and Ru. names I have not heard in a long time. I have no idea if my cousin is alive. I have looked for them, but never found them. Very well. I think that's everything. Uh, I believe we'll be departing for Rendion today. Good luck. And Chance will nod and an emotion. Well, I guess we should be getting back then. Yeah. The rest Return of the to the festivities. The rest of the feast is going quite well. And you all feel very emboldened. I'm trying to make small talk with people, but it's not going well. Literally every time Audra hears something that's coming from Arizona, it, like, it turns to like politics, religion. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Arizona's that guy. It's just like, someone's like, oh, how are you doing? He's like, well, I think my dad's dead. I don't know. Is there such thing as hell? <laughs> I mean, there's the hellish plains, you know, the seven hells. Yeah, but Nine is that, like, real? I mean, we we can't get to it right now because transplanar travel is kind of super fucked up. But, um, yeah, it's real, yeah. I don't know if you go there when you die, though. I think it's just where, like, you know, infernals naturally live. Oh, that makes me feel better, thank you. I don't think your dad's in hell. I really hope he's not. 
just starts crying at the at the feast. Just starts like patting your back. I'm sure he's you know it's gonna make lovely fertilizer for like a nice tree. This is not the opposite of helping. I know it's really helpful for you, and I know that's something that you really appreciate, but this is not helpful. Okay, do you want me to get you some hot chalky? No, I'm gonna save my hot chalky. Someone probably some needs it more than me. Here, there's marshmallows. Have you had marshmallows yet? Here, have some marshmallows. He eats a marshmallow, and it's just his mouth is just—it's like talking through peanut butter. He's like, "Oh, thank you." <laughs> He's made everyone around him incredibly uncomfortable, and he seems unaware of this fact. I think, on some level, he's probably aware, like in his subconscious. But it's kind of tied. Oh in yeah, no, the anxiety is there. Where it's like, oh no, what if I've said something bad? But like, he definitely did say something bad. And counterpoint, when is the anxiety not there? This is true. <laughs> Do you guys uh, finish up the feast? Get moving on. To, I assume in some form of cloud form towards the end. Yeah, it it di disappears at the end of an hour. So I assume Audra is like also like stuffing, trying to stuff one last like croissant with marmalade in her mouth, and it just disappears, and she gets very disappointed. <laughs> it's literally like you reach for the croissant as like the bowl is dematerializing, and like you have a hold of it, and then like half of it dematerializes. So you have half a croissant left that you can very quickly shove into your mouth. Shove it into my mouth, but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't- it's lost its zest. It's not buttery, it's just- it, it's like stale now. I swallow it anyways, and then I like a chance. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure everybody, but I think we have uh, things to do. Yep, everybody come in for a group hug! Group hug! Uh, no. Okay! I make sure Azura is included. <laughs> like, wraps a wing around the rest of y'all. Okay, now everybody who doesn't want to go to a, health, uh, a mind hellscape, step back. You have to teleport. <laughs> I know none of you are feeling scared right now, but that's just magic. <laughs> oh, arrows are done there too. Arrows that you literally can't be frightened, but anxiety is real. <laughs> well, uh, here goes nothing. There's a lot of like, we have to all hey. goodbye and like wishes of good luck from the various attendees. Gather around, everyone. Yep, everybody hold hands! What? That's not a requisite. Oh, I, it would be nice, though. Audra, hold your hand. I mean, Chance doesn't uh, resist. But he, at the same time, he's like, that's not a prerequisite. You just have to be willing. Uh, and so, Chance has... What would you say Chance is technically on the teleport chart? Um, could you... Actually, I'll just look it up. It's going to be a very big spell. I can also post the uh, church very quick in the Discord. I've got it as a handout already, but thanks. Oh, perfect. Also, I know it's a D100, but since we're married, can I spend a Cosmic Omen to give him plus a D6 on the roll? <laughs> yeah, I don't roll it. The GM rolls it. He does specifically say the DM rolls a D100 and consults the table. Uh, I would like rank you as description to viewed once. Ah, great. I, I had hoped for scene casually. Uh, hold on, everybody. This this is um. Uh. This isn't the best target that I can try, but this is our best way of getting there. And then Chance is going to cast the spell with his free hand. Uh, 
and I'm going to up the fun by rolling the d100 off screen. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Oh boy. Yes, please land in the air. I'll be fine. <laughs> no, we end up on like the complete opposite side of the world. Uh, also, no. we don't have a map for like. <laughs> I'm I'm bracing myself and have a ready to action to go into uh, my starry form if anything goes wrong. <laughs> that entire breakfast, Solus was just cosplaying as a blue dragon. <laughs> Solus was like probably lighting himself up perfectly with other people so that the other dragon couldn't see him. <laughs> Look, you just got cool new armor, it'd be a waste not to use it. <laughs> uh, you all land in the sand. That's no. Off target. Oh, oh yes. off target, okay, that's not too bad. That That's. <laughs> There's a very big possibility for mishap. Oh boy. <laughs> and mishap can chain into mishap. <laughs> Technically speaking, I could have just TPK'd us. If we rolled to mishap and to mishap and to mishap and to mishap, like repeatedly and kept I mean, that, that's why I had a, a ready action to wild shape into my starry form if needed, because I can have bludgeoning damage, which is one of the things that can happen. Yeah, but this is instantaneous teleportation. Uh, mishaps are going to happen instantaneously. I don't think we get reactions to it. Unless you were already in it. You could have killed me and you didn't let me know? Look, everything was fine. This is why you just fine. said that it wasn't. Okay, Eric, this is why I was holding your hand. I can heal you. If anything happens, it's fine. I had, you know, masculine word ready. It's fine. Look, there there was no no mishaps. And that's that's the main thing. Uh, we're okay. also, also I need to head like that way and chance points like would chance know how far off like the, the spell went? You wouldn't know, but uh you can use various different skills to pinpoint. Okay. Can I make a survival uh, check? Yeah, survival. Yeah, we're we're help. just in the middle of the sands, meaning we're probably went off target, uh which is very good because we're close and not just like um you know, like, there, there, there was a chance that it also could have put us on, like, the other side of the world, but we're, we're going to discount that. <laughs> Can I eat uh, that mushroom? So, like, while, while we're walking towards the place, I'm, like, you know, popping a mushroom. Did you make tea out of it? No, I'm just eating it whole. Okay, yeah, slower release then. Yeah, I just assume because, you know, it's going to take us some time to actually walk there. I might as well slow release. Yeah. So that it, yeah. it's there when it, we're there. Oh, I mean, I can cast Wind Walk. Oh yeah, we could just get in, like, high up in the air, find the castle, and head there. That's also a possibility. Um, with, like, your ability to track uh, the, uh, the lay of the stars, even the few of them that are visible by day, you can tell that you're Significantly further east than you were before, Audra. Mm hmm. Audra's just like spending a long time just like head craned, staring up at the sky. <laughs> and then you see a cloud pass over one of the few that exist in this world, and you're suddenly reminded of a thing you can do. Um, I already heroes feasted, so this is my most powerful spell for the day. But I feel like it's worth it because we're kind of we're pretty far off. So I'll cast Outlook at everybody and go. Okay, so we're just gonna become clouds and find this place. I feel like that's. And then I'll use my seventh level to cast Windwalk without any more words. <laughs> All right. Well, here's hoping we're close enough, and then that's when the spell triggers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you rise up into the air and you spot uh, one very large black shape somewhere towards your southwest, Alinus. Yeah, head off that way. It takes you very little time to get there, and eventually all of you are face to face with the horror of the castle as it creeps along on the ground on tiny um, multitudinous legs. 
Okay, this is way scarier than the picture. Really? You no. Know, I think it's kind of nice. I mean, to be fair, it is quite impressive architectural design. But... Exactly. I guess, you know, in some ways it does kind of remind me of a beehive. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So we're defecting order. <laughs> uh, no, no, I just, I, it's okay. I accidentally spilled some sand. It's fine. Um, it, in some ways, it doesn't remind me of a beehive. Right. Um. Well, let's start knows what this. So, or like a root system. Uh, hypothetically speaking, um, that thing could afflict our minds and attack them. We do have some protection from Hero's Feast. Uh, does anybody really need more protection um, against the terrors that could happen to it? I feel like we all just need to stand around Solus in a circle, because I feel like when I stand next to Solus, I feel like less can hurt me. Oh, about that. Um, <laughs> What's wrong? As you kind of get close to Solus, you realize, like, when you properly focus on it, that aura of safety that was there before isn't there anymore. So let's spread your form of Azuz cow. Uh, so this whole deal was a trade-off, and he kind of gestures to himself. Um, you'll be fine. What does that mean, Solas? You'll be fine. What does that mean? You don't need me for everything, you'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not about needing you at this point, it's about concern. Look, just people change. Things they can do also change with them, it's... Natural. Oh, so you're like a wizard now, like Chance. <sighs> no? Yeah, we'll see. Um, back to my question. Uh, I have the ability to fortify someone's mind uh, to make you resistant to attacks that afflict the mind as well as more chance of not being harmed by uh, the same types of things. Uh, is there any takers who would like that? I can keep it up for about an hour, uh, but if we get into combat it might drop because I need concentration on other things. Don't waste it on me. I, I have a lot of protection against that sort of thing. <laughs> I would actually really like that. Alright, anybody else? I mean, I'm fine for the most part, but if you're offering, then... I'd say I can do up to three people. I I feel like I'm also pretty okay. Um, but yeah, I, right, would... I guess I'll take it. Alright, uh, one, one more person. Any Any takers? Providence, raise your hand. Huh? Sorry. No, she's just been staring at the castle. Okay, Providence needs it also. Providence needs it. Alright, you, you three. Um, uh, Alright, so I believe I do the this, and uh, you'll see you like chance to, like, pull out his book, read it. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need to do any hand-waving. It's simply a verbal spell. Um, what was the incantation again? Ah, yes. Your mind is like a fortress, and I'm casting Intellect Fortress on you three uh, at fifth level. Damn it, this is exactly just my gnome cunning. I didn't know that. Fuck, I would have given it to someone else. <laughs> Uh, it gives, so you now have resistance to psychic damage and advantage on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Saving Those are the exact same ones I get from Gnome Cunning, except for the psychic damage. Which could be useful. Uh, I already get psychic resistance, because I'm cool and became one with the weave. And to be fair, Gnome Cunning is just against magic. Oh, that's true. Yeah. This is against everything, so if you come across, like, poison, or anything like that, that might have- or, you know, uh, anything that you walk in and they get scared of, and have to take a save on. I mean, if we're doing all prep stuff, I'm just gonna do all that now.
Pop that at 7th level, pop that at 6th level. Because neither are concentration. Yeah, also, why I'm... are the spell DCs different? Are you true seeing on yourself or somebody else? Uh, myself. Yeah, yeah I'm going to hold off on that because I might need my 6th level for a, uh, a cheeky little combat buff. That's fine. I, I understand my role in this party as counterspell. <laughs> <laughs> and you do it so well, honey. I'm the only one who can do it so well, apparently. But I'll take it. Um, so, I believe... Oh, whoops, I totally forgot. Um, Chance pulls out a ring that you have all seen him wear up until, like, yesterday. Uh, I forgot I had this Ring of Protection that I can't use anymore if anybody uh, wanted that, but that's a bit late now, so... Yeah. Yeah, we don't, we don't really have time to attune to it. A bunch of people just cast spells that only last an hour. <laughs> yep. Uh, so if anybody is interested in this, um, let me know. If not, I might use it to, you know, help create a spell or something. Uh, other than that, I'm ready to go. Is everybody else ready to go? Yeah. Very. Yeah. Very I've funny castle. Walking in. Anything weird happens, I'm gonna shift to my starry form, but I'm gonna stay normal for now because it only lasts for ten minutes. So the castle itself is um, like quite flat on its bottom, but it's moving. It's like supported by. They look small, but as you get closer. Uh, each of the feet that help it crawl along the ground is about 50 foot high. And they look small in comparison to the castle. There are lots of gaps between the obsidian um, wiring that the outside of the building seems to have. Um, they are all shrouded in darkness, but you think that they are ways to enter. It would require um. flying through with cloud form mm. looking at it is there clearly a better uh entryway than others you could do yourself an insight check there hmm or i could do an insight check <laughs> could i like start looking and then give audra advantage sure uh, with the help action of like that one looks pretty good, but then, uh, then again, I don't that know. one. Hmm. Uh, you notice that there is a quite a large gap um, in this like concave um, recess between the two towers of the castle. Let's just go in there. Oh, well, that's probably the best bet, you know, directly. Directly in, you know what they say, you know, nothing like getting into the belly of the beast. Historically, that's kind of a bad idea, but I understand what you mean by that metaphor. Adorable poof into a cloud again. Mm. Chance will do the same and head up as we head in. The, uh, again, the gap between the obsidian things is like a completely, it looks solid, but it's like a solid mist of like a black shadow. Whereas Audra pops in, like the second that she steps through, you can't see her. Uh, Chance would be right behind Audra. Trying to maintain that they don't lose sight of each other. Okay. Everyone else goes in too? Yeah, yep. I'll just fly up. I got wings. Nice. No cloud form needed. And you all emerge into separate rooms. Where do I look? Where do I look? At the top. Up at the top. Oh, thanks. You appear to be in a tower of some form. Each one of you sees something different that is horrific or arcane inside the tower. Solus, you see uh, four 
suits of armor, each engraved with the now familiar, um, unique symbols of the elements. Heavily dusted? No, cobwebbed. Audrey, you see a magical ritual that seems to have been taking place here. Chance, you are familiar. You are greeted once again with the familiar sights of the organization of the elements, in the same way in which they are at the research facility. They haunt your dreams as you try and find out the answers, and now they are before you once again. Providence. It's rare that you were ever able to take a bath. And this one looks so inviting. Arizid, each of the skulls that stare towards the summoning circle in the center of the room seem familiar to you. Light shifts and they all turn to look at you. For each of you, there appears to be a way out or through on the opposite side of the room. Is anything in my room different with true sight? With true sight, uh, you see a body inside the liquid in the bathtub. It is Ferris. He has been <sighs> drowned. As you step, as you all step further into the castle, you notice that the air, the air here is heavy. It's dense. It smells like copper. It's almost overwhelming. I need all of you to make a constitution saving throw. I have the worst saving <laughs> throw, that, throw I that I have. What did the mushroom do? What did the mushroom do? The mushroom gave you advantage on those. Oh yeah, I also get advantage because of my boon. Nice. Um... <laughs> Actually, that's the point. Would this be a magical effect? Technically, no. Okay. It is uh, more of a layer action. That's fine. Damn it. Providence, Chance, Solus. You each have a minus one to your wisdom. Not my dumb stat. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, actually a very, very big thing for me, because uh, I have a 14, so I go to a plus one. Yeah, no, I had a 14 as well. I was being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, one of those things that can only be resolved through restoration magic, similar to like a succubus's life drain thing. Hmm. There's a um, huh. quiet humming in the air around you. Um, I think being separated from her companions, I don't know if we're actually like this close in space or if this is just for like, you know, just for everybody you. seeing everybody's purposes, but she would reach out with her mind to and like call everybody's name like Chance, Solace, Providence, Arizid, Ingua. You can't sense anything outside of this room. You've never felt so trapped. Can I make sense of the ritual that's going on in front of me? You can try with an arcana check. Or an insight check. It appears as if someone has been trying to defile the moon. Rude. <laughs> I 
Um, how can I stop this ritual? How would it be stopped? It seems to have been abandoned. Like, the, there's like half-written uh, magical circles. Um, and you spy a piece of like this shining blue chalk just like next to the stairs, as if someone dropped it on their way up. Um, I will take all of the moisture in this room and like put it in a ball and use it to scrub the floor and try to get rid of this ritual before I leave. Sounds good. Um, Chance is gonna look and look beyond what is just before him to the strands that he can see of the weave. Do they run through this place and what do they say? It's almost like a dead zone inside the room itself. Uh, it is only with the weave that you can see the same like webbing pattern that you saw on the outside of this building. You also Chance. sense through the weave a sense of hunger. Chance will rub his uh, chin a bit as he then more uh, a box kind of around uh, downwards towards the earth where he will uh, take out the dagger that he carries. And just kind of like, you know, a slight cut onto his finger and dribble a drop of blood to the center of the earth element. The drop falls, and instantly your hand is pulled violently towards the floor itself. Here you hear the screams of the weave crying for more. Blood. 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 It's trying to sap your energy. Do you rip your hand away? Yeah, this is... I say, even if it is what um, Chance is now starting to theorize, uh, he needs to push forward. Uh, he can't be stopped here. Uh, please roll me a, a strength... Uh, well, in athletics, it would be more to um, rip your hand away from this powerful force trying to sap your energy I don't know what the DC is it makes things a bit harder to decide um seeing the possible outcomes I think this is probably my best place now I should save that alright you're barely able to rip your hand away as only a few drops of blood were taken. You're left with the sense that if you had failed to do so now, it would have become increasingly harder to later. Hmm. Chance will sheath the dagger. Um, and he's going to attempt to summon his familiar. Um, he would have put it away in the pocket dimension. Uh, so he's going to see if he can use magic here to bring forth that as well as just casting a cantrip like prestidigitation just to make uh like a small little like rock in his hand the raven appears on your shoulder but it looks different haunted i forget do raven do familiars talk to you uh they can communicate psychically i believe is oh, how totally. the spell is worded. Oh, neat. Right. You have a telepathic link. This is an evil place. Ah! That it is. However, given that I can see the twists of the castle as though they were the weave itself, this place could be a manifestation of evil intent of the weave, or perhaps somebody twisted it to create this place. Much to think about. 
What's your take on What's your take? Well, um, I'm like overcome obviously with like, oh, no one's there. I'm alone. But also like you said, all of the skulls turn to look at me. Yeah. Yeah. That gives me a sense of fascination. And I would like to do some sort of investigation into, because it feels like they're sentient, like it's company. And that's something that Erzid really cares about. So I think he's going to do some sort of investigation. You can roll for investigation. Are these magical in nature or al alchemical or anything like that? Is that like what you're investigating or is that going to change? Is what that going to change what you want to do? It's going to give me double my proficiency bonus if it is. Uh, they are kind of magical in nature, yes. How are we gonna how are we gonna resolve kind of magical in nature? Roll. Okay, hold up. Uh you said investigation? Uh-huh. They seem to be more like manifestations of your own past resonating with the magic of castle more than actual entities that exist themselves. Hence, somewhat magical. I see. Uh, I... Are any of the, the shapes vaguely familiar, like the skull shapes? Of course. You grew up with these people. There's your mother, your father, your sister. All their skulls pick clean. There's the nice minotaur that you used to sell your ore to when you were a child. I would like to disturb this scene. Well, well first, what, what's in the middle of it? What's, what's the thing in the middle? It is a, some form of blood magic. I would like to disturb this scene by picking up the skull of the one person in this group that I am certain is not at a place that I can reach them, which is my dad's skull. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say hi. Just like, hello? Hi? As you pick up your father's skull, all of the others get sucked like in an instant towards the center of the room. And get squished together, creating where the blood magic circle was, is now a pile of shattered uh, bone. Oh no no no! Uh, oh, um. You turn to the you turn to your hand. Uh, it smiles in its eyes and goes hello before it too crumbles into dust. Oh no 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 no! Okay, I, I've ruined this. I've, I've made a mess of this. Um, I guess with me having destroyed everything in this room that there was to interact with, I'm going to try to traverse the staircase. Okay. And Solus? So... He's merely just circling the room, pretty much. Taking it all in, trying to figure out what the deal with this place is. The four suits of armor stare at you lifelessly, soullessly. There is, a, as you further inspect, a huge amount of spider webs, sacks, um, littered around the edges. And lots of spiders, none alive. Hmm. You notice that the past the visors of the helmets on each of these statues, uh, there appears to be someone or something inside. You would sort of get close to one of them. 
I'm gonna lean in to look at it, but try his best to like not touch it, you know. As you lean in to look at that one in particular, um, droplets of liquid begin to fall out from uh, the visor's uh, edges as you see a face, Rajat's, dead inside the armour. Just make a mental note and move on to the next, doing the same. Here you can see the familiar shape of the world's oldest dragonborn, Amodra. Again, dead and tombed inside this armour. You look into this one and you peer into the eyes of your mother. She is not dead. She stares out at you with a burning hate in her eyes. Are you going to free us or not? What purpose is there to that? Insolent boy! The suit of armour raises its hand as if going to slap you. He just stands there. In which case... It freezes. The uh, blaze fades away. And that armour, along with the other three, collapse into empty piles. <sighs> I may be the blood of your blood, but I myself in the end. As he just walks on. With everyone else climbing their way up the stairs, that's where we're going to take our break. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab yeah. that piece of junk on my way up. Naturally. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette, the stress is getting to me, man. Just kidding, I was gonna do that anyway, but... <laughs> <laughs> One room down. It looks like there's a lot more to go. <laughs> Time to face our fears and traumas one by one, hell yeah. <laughs> Um, I think if we started that, we wouldn't be finishing this area for the next seven sessions, but... <laughs> <laughs> Especially for some of us. That's not like a Prince of Bel-Air meme, where he's just like riding in a car, taking like photos. <laughs> looking really happy. That's just the, the trek through the trauma. Yeah. You all head up the stairs. Um, as doing so, you find that same black veil between rooms. Uh, Does like that? Everyone to roll a d20. Does that black veil persist through true sight? Yes. Ooh. Um, can I, s like, seeing the weave, can I influence this at all? Um... I mean, same question about luck points. I don't know if this is just like, a, if this is a luck roll well, and I want to roll high, can I re-roll? More along the lines of like, is this a roll I can technically porent? And if so, uh, um, can I see any future possibilities? I'll like, I'll be real with you. This roll is for organizational uh, properties ah. to determine who, ah. who enters a room first. Understandable. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> Providence, you walk through the veil and you find yourself sitting on the floor, thrown once again into the hot hut. You refuse to cast some spell or another, not through personal reasons, but because your body grew too weary. 
he sobbed out of sadness or frustration, try and cast a spell, a nice simple cantrip. A simple ball of flame, red and gold, as it always has been. But what is produced instead is nothing more than a profane shattering of the weave. A tiny explosion that rebounds into you and rips into your skin. And the marks have begun. You've beaten further from making that sound, but it hurts little at all in comparison to the scorching hot pain of your soul being eviscerated from your body. And then you come to your senses once more and you realise you're in an echo. A time long since passed. door to the hot hut stands open. Do you continue? Have you muted yourself again, Josh? No, no, I'm okay. thinking. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was also trying to clear my throat without making noise. Uh, yep. There's probably just the faintest smile just just to spite the universe and then walk through the door chance the room that you walk into is small intimate it's one of the many rooms of the house that you share with Audra now that your house has been built in the outskirts of Grove she's lying on the chaise lounge before you asleep the sun's tear manifests in your hand. It does not speak, but it feels. It knows. It knows that a greater power even than what has already been brought forth lurks beneath it. But first, it needs to be tempered in the sweetest liquid. Your hand shakes. Roll a constitution saving throw. Oh no, these are my worst. You're unable to stop your hand as the blade raises, ready to strike into Audra's chest. And down it falls. Audra and the rest of the room melt away, leaving you in a room of pure blackness with only a white door in front of you. And an echo of a voice. Come. Find the power. Do you continue forwards? Yeah. Is Chance's mind of his own, or is this like a moving, like, uncontrolled movement type thing? Uh, the, the stabbing motion was uncontrolled. The rest is, like, in the same way that Providence had an echo of the past, you seem to have an echo of your future. Hmm. Chance will simply walk forward without a word. Arizid, you ready? <laughs> no, but go ahead. <laughs> You find yourself on the dirt road between your old home and Maglamond. You're strolling slowly, pushing a wagon full of ore. In front of you, your mother is doing the same with another wagon. Your sister strolls alongside you, tugging on the hand of your father as she begs him to sing a song. You're eager. You will be able to buy much food with this haul. It is a pleasant day. Calm. You pass by a large rock, the Man Rock, Tessa calls it, due to some vague indents that she insists look like a face, though you can't see it yourself. As you pass by the rocks, you hear an alien voice shouting in an alien tongue, and then suddenly you cannot move. 
neither can your family. You can only barely gasp in shock. A figure materialises before you, twelve feet high, with great dragon-like wings, broad shoulders, and a scaled appearance. Perfect for killing. He looks down at you all, before setting his poisonous gaze on your father. You are the Falkor male. The figure turns to his underlings, goblins, kobolds, and hobgoblin. Kill him. Take the rest. They bow and scrape before him and say, As you desire, Lord Cole. You are trapped, watching helplessly, as the daggers pierce your father's belly and paint the sands beneath him. The memory that you had forgotten. Why he died. When suddenly the sands are empty, you're able to move, and a door appears before you. Um, do I still see the visions of my family? They are all gone. You're in okay, in that case, I... Well, first, I'm reeling from the shock of, oh, I repressed that! Oh! Oh! Uh, you know, of course, tears start to stream down my cheeks, but I don't let myself make any noise, and I just take slow, shaky steps forward. Next is... Me! You enter into a dark room, lit only by torches. You've seen it before. You've been here before. It is the basement of the back house. Quinn stands before you, surrounded by three sorcerers, and next to you is Artemis Gressingman. The vision almost blurs over their doppelgangers implosion Artemis takes out a brooch from inside his pocket as the three sorcerers leave he throws it onto the floor almost dismissively and turns and looks directly at you sad little sentimentalities it's too easy Shame I couldn't kill the real thing. They would have made such a beautiful offering. Don't you agree? I cast Guiding Bolt! <laughs> the bolt rips right through him and impacts the wall behind him. He steps towards you. You've begun to follow in my own footsteps yourself, my little flower. And as long as you do, I'll be there, right alongside you. His smile grows twisted and dark. Did you think you'd gotten rid of me? I'm always there, inside you. As long as murder is in your heart and in your actions, I am there. Don't you remember those late night rituals? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course you don't. This was my intention. The only thing more beautiful about corrupting the sweet little saviour of the world is when she never knows about it, until it's too late. Hey, Audra man. is shaking from head to toe, but she closes her eyes and starts to whisper to herself, you're not real. As you close your eyes, you see that he's beginning to lunge towards you, and you feel a rush of cold sweep over you, and then you feel a lightness in the air. And if you open your eyes, you see that you are alone once more in the basement with a white door where there was none before. Uh, Otter will just take, take a moment to collect herself. 
and breathe. And for a split second, she's going to pause for a second. And she's thinking about those rituals that he mentioned that she doesn't remember. Can she scan her memory for holes really quick? <laughs> she can. I believe that would be a history check. If you say so. Think back, and you you have flashes of being moved, being groggy, chanting, an urgency for blood inside you. You fear that what he said is actually the truth. Um. I'm going to repress that shit for right now and walk through the door. Obedience. Solus. You are so, so tired. Not just from the walking of these halls, but from your journeys in recent weeks. You fought gods, the elements, your friends, your own soul. You don't want to continue fighting. You don't even care what's around you at the moment. You don't want to continue. All you want to do is rest. The energy leaves your body in waves like blood from a gouge. Your own heart pumps it out. The mosaic floor looks so inviting. It will be a peaceful death. No one needing your help to fix their broken societies or to attend functions or to be the hero. It calls to you. Please roll me a constitution saving throw. Okay. The all too familiar wave of what you now know to be somnambulant system washes over you. And you repress it, you reject it. You are able to continue walking forward in this dark, featureless room. Arizid, once you've passed through the door, you arrive in another room. Another door. Another mystery. Solus, your surroundings are all too familiar. So if Roll20's revelation feature would let me show them to you. Providence. Likewise. <laughs> and finally, with the memory of killing her still fresh in your mind, perchance you stumble onto a bridge of some form, crossing four ways. And on the other side, looking startled and equally as haunted is Audra. What do you two do? Chance, is that you? Is that... Chance would nod. A, a seeming aura of calm still around him. This is nothing. It's... Uh, okay. Sure. Okay. This is... Chance will walk into this fleshy thing. I don't know if I would walk into it. Uh, okay, I'll take a couple steps. <laughs> it is uncomfortably squishy underneath your feet, like it's um, like it's living, like you're stepping over someone's belly. I don't like this. I 
Uh, are these like flesh trees? They're like warts. Massive warts. Mm. Walking around. Does it look like there's an exit either way of these two? Indeed. Okay, um, let's hold hands and not let go for a long time, okay? <laughs> Chance will offer out a hand. Takes it and just squeezes it and kisses the back of it and she's still shaking all over. Yeah, at that point, Chance then, you know, pulls Audra in and just wraps her in a hug. It's okay. I don't know that it is. Can this, this place enough. make you remember things that never happened? It's a possibility. It afflicts the mind, turns it inside out, and destroys you. It will make you see what you do not wish to see, and attempts to break you. I'm not him, right? You are yourself. Always have been, always will be. I think she stands in the hug and just hugs Chance back for like a good solid minute before she disentangles and Okay, we should we should find the others. We need to find the others. He'll nod as uh uh Chance is going to just kind of, like, peer over this edge into the maw. Does it look like there's a bottom to it? Most things seem to have a bottom. But if this one does, it's far beyond what your sight can reveal. Uh, I'm going to press the digitation, just like a D6. Because uh, I, I get the feeling that's just Chance's generic item and just toss it down oh, like to see if there's device. anything okay yeah uh because i can make uh a yeah what is it a non-living where is it uh non-magical trinket or an illusionary image that can fit into your hand and last until the end of your next turn so he'll just, like, toss it into it to see if there's a reaction of, like, snapping shut or trying to eat it or anything. You throw it in, and you sense that it falls for the whole six seconds of its life. And all you hear in response is... something snaps shut far below. Alright, I don't think going into that uh, mouth thing... Absolutely not! No, there's a door right here. Yeah, but there's also... Um, a, it's a terrifying castle, and I wouldn't put it past it to try and psych people out of you are going to be devoured. Uh, this is the correct way to go. That's a... That's a... That's weird, but I guess, you know, I guess it's possible? Uh, and as we move towards the door, I'm just, like, reaching out with my mind generally to, you know, our other friends that we haven't found yet, so... If anyone's close enough, they would hear Arizid, Providence, Solas. You can only feel one other mind, but the presence is reassuring. You know that he is real. squeeze Chance harder as we walk. As you uh, turn to look down at Audra, your sword hand shakes once more. The promise of power to kill anything in a single blow. It haunts your mind as you look at Audra. Down at her heart. Uh, yeah, Chance will uh, process that, uh, realize that that is literally the worst possibility right now, uh, and push forward. Eris, did you find yourself alone once more in a room with an uncomfortably large hand that appears to have 
pierced the floor. It's crushing a familiar device. Or trying to. The device from the top floor of the Ichthos Island Research Facility. The one that will save the world. So it's like crushing it, like, does the device look broken in any way? Like, it looks as if this hand is so slow moving, it's currently in the process of, like, grasping around it, but won't reach that grasping point for a while. As you look further, you realise that you know this hand. This ink was golden, well, crystalline hand. I'm, I, this is probably an impossible task for someone, especially of my size and strength, but I am going to try to pull the machine from the hand. Uh, you can anchor yourself against, like, the, the, the bone of the thumb grip and pull with all your athletic might. So good luck on that roll. I got a plus one. It's fine. You pull yourself towards the Amillary Sphere. Oh, I, I guess I'm abandoning that strategy, and instead I'm going to, being very mindful of like the fingers and the thumb, like slowly moving towards it, I'm going to try to offer, I'm going to slice myself with a weapon and try to offer the machine some of my blood your knowledge, this is the first time that someone has attempted to offer the device in the center of the ritual blood directly. Yes. It, and I'm it, hoping this is a good thing. It resonates. Hacky. Did you just lie to me? Oh, are, are you happy? Wait. Are you addressing the, the omnipotent authority figure in the sky? I'm addressing the machine. Like, you get the sense it's happy, it didn't say the word happy. Oh, what did it say? I thought you said happy, I was so confused. Yeah, it was like, you know, it, it, it accepts it happy. Like, it seems happy. Not that oh, okay, I, get, I, I got you, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but the sphere, it takes your blood in the drop that it was given. The drop turns golden. And you see it split into four. And then each of the four splits into six. The universal donor, the universal donor, the universal donor has come! Uh, the universal donor? Uh... You have all the bloods, all the sins. You are eternally burdened, and we love it. I don't feel eternally burdened. I don't want that. I don't want burden. I'd, uh... Um... It's not what the other machine said either. I'm. It didn't say anything about original sin or me having, uh, in all of the time. It didn't say anything like that. So I, at this at this point, Aries, it's kind of like doubting, because he walked into this room kind of thinking, "Oh, this is very real. I need to give this thing my blood right now." But now he's kind of doubting the the truthfulness of this version of the machine. He would be silly not to. At this point, I think I'm going to step back from Inkwa's Ink, Ink, giant hand and, like, kind of maybe let it crush the machine. 
you enter through the door to the south? Or the one that you came from? Onwards and upwards, definitely progress. Going over here. Solus and Providence come face to face with someone they never wanted to see again. How do you each feel right now? Um, <clears throat> Solus walks in. He just sees Sklard across the hall and just kind of smile almost like a oh shit here we go again sort of deal as he walks to the mental room and just stares right at her I will as the DM just out of game I had to shrink some of these maps to fit into this hmm. frame better um, but this is not, like, the exact aspect ratio that you should be. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> um, imagine it as it, as it would, would be in your previous sessions. Just, mm -hmm. just out, out of character. Um, she smiles down at you. <sighs> Welcome. To the place where all bad souls go to die. Hmm. So sort of looks around. Quite roomy, I've got to admit. One of my more pleasant rooms in my many lives. You know, in my unlife, our queen has blessed me with it. Here I can do anything. Oh. Would you care to give a demonstration? Oh, honey, you would not want that. If you say so. Besides, she has already marked you. I am here merely to offer you a deal. Uh, that sort of smile just fades immediately. You want peace? You want to save the world? Then you want to save all the little souls scuttling around you. Or do you want something more? Like hell, I'm telling you. I am merely a figment of your imagination. An echo from the past. And that's the exact reason why I'm not telling you. The past is the past. And don't need to acknowledge it at all. Side for occasions. You wish for a fresh start. You wish to be better than what you were born to be. Your soul. It's so spicy, it's so delicious. wonder it has not burnt you up, little spark. I can assure you, the day it does, it will be fantastic. And I will enjoy every second of it. I need no more help from anyone else. You wouldn't I am myself. Enjoy being immolated? My, you are a feisty one. Have you
If it meant the end of this all, if it meant I no longer had to live in this world, then I would enjoy it, yes, thoroughly. You wish for death. Less so now, but... It's nice that I wish for it, and more that I would accept it when it comes. Now, if you had asked me a few days ago, then, well, yeah, it would have been different for sure, but whenever it happens, it happens. As the two of you stand off against one another, um, you hear a murmur of conversation from behind you. As you hear a familiar voice saying, I was able to resist. I fear what would have happened if I did not. And two faces climb up the stairs to look at the three of you. So we'll you just know, stare at them, wait. I had a copper for every time that I walked into Squad sitting on that chair. <laughs> I would have three copper, which isn't much. But, but it's on. weird that it happens twice. <laughs> yep, and I would have the exact same, and I would have it way before you. <sighs> I run up and give Solus a hug. <laughs> no, oh god, okay, it's fine. Christ. Are you okay? Have you have you bled? Union. <laughs> okay, hush you, you're dead. And loving it, darling. I am well, alright, one thing at a time. Water. You look like you've been uh -huh. to hell. I am f Oh. Oh I'm I'm glad that you're fine. Yeah. Like, you look at Solus, and he just, he looks like about the same as he walked in. <laughs> um, so, so not fine, but fine for Solus? I mean, normal. Normal, sure. Okay, um, okay. By the way, bleeding, very bad idea. Um, yeah, don't do that. I feel like that's a given, regardless scenario. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't know why... He castle itself wants to drink and satiate. Actually, I was able to see um, the structure of it, uh, like how it weaved around as though it was made of like some kind of vine, like black vine, um, within the first room that I was within. I wouldn't be surprised if we're in some kind of manifestation of the weave. Hmm. Oh! Fancy. You know, they're like, like a hallucinatory terrain, or like a... Potentially. There's a good chance that okay. uh, we are still just within the first room. Even though that we've been moving and traveling, um, there's a chance that we could have all been afflicted uh, some, in some way uh, and pulled into this weird dream state. Um, now that Chance mentions that, can I try, can Audra try to see what's going on with, like, with the magic and the weave here, and just... Uh... It's basically, honestly, she would close her eyes to do it, and use, like, her psychic abilities, but... That's funny, because I was about to ask you to roll perception for that. Um... I mean, it's still perception, but... <laughs> just a different... <laughs> Mind perception. Interoception, uh... Please roll for that. Thirty. You open your mind's eye towards the the layout of this room. You have moved. You're in a a, a corridor, or maybe a a tower, maybe both. The 
the sheer structure of this thing boggles your minds. It seeks to overwhelm you the second that it realises that you are trying to discern its true nature. Please roll a constitution saving throw. Which I do with advantage because of my Buddha perfect self. <laughs> I am aware. But I'm not proficient. Ha ha! Fuck you! you sense... Not you, the castle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you sense the tendrils of this thing's dark power reaching out towards you. It's trying to sap away your wisdom, your constitution, your life. I think Audrey visibly starts glowing. When that happens, like starlight starts coming off of her. It begins to wiggle away from you, and at the end of the room, Sklard smiles once more. <sighs> the basest defenses of this place are always making mistakes. You are expected. I presumed so at this point. Queen is eager. She hungers for you. Uh, at the mention of the queen, uh, Audra will say, Matrin? Or. Something like that. If she's the one who conquered this castle, then it makes sense that she would be queen of it. Even if it has twisted and changed her, perhaps made a deal with some kind of entity that created it or controlled it before. Hmm. If you want to know more before you face her, we could always make an arrangement. I may be just what? a pure, humble manifestation of your own souls but I am still Sklad Lord of Juras God Sorcerer and I will well yeah <clears throat> about that your castle's gone yeah ma'am you are a corpse <laughs> well, yeah, the one that I am eternal too. I have buried Welcome. castles before, and I will bury them again. What I want to know is not rubbish from the material world. What I want to know is this. You, do you want to know what dark thoughts fester in your heart even now? What did he put there, hmm? She is addressing Audra. I, I know Audra visibly. Audra goes, like, so still, she doesn't even breathe for a minute. Even if what I saw was true, I wouldn't trust it from your mouth. My mouth is your mouth. My thoughts are your thoughts. Do you not understand the nature of this place yet? Can I vibe check, or as part of that perception check, understand the nature of this place? <laughs> Is as, this true? As part of your, like, fucking 30, um, <laughs> like, what she's saying seems to ring true. Take his face down and tell me what you did. What was that, sorry, Sarah? Oh, I said, take his face then and tell me what you did. So she's basically asking me to hear it from Artemis. Do I still have that? I do not have that token. Give me a sec. We can, we can just imagine. <laughs> yeah, but I spent a lot of time looking for the perfect art for that guy. So, given the opportunity. As always, he's massive. As you command, my dear. Hmm. 
just trots down. Oliver looks overtly hostile. Oh, yes. Do it. Give in to that desire I placed in you. Make yourself in his image once more. Talk. I am talking. <laughs> what more could you want from me? What did you do? What was that ritual? There. <laughs> it's too much fun to spoil. <laughs> you will make such a beautiful offering when the time comes. You, boy, you should do well to distance yourself lest she kill you in her sleep. Since this thing is a manifestation of my subconscious, can I make a roll to exert my will over it and make it do what I want? Please roll a wisdom saving throw. Which I roll with advantage! Because of heroes feast! Yes. 24. The only thing more fun than having you not know is having you know exactly what your fate is. Very well. You are harboring a piece of my soul. Dear, holy, pure druid that you are. I placed it inside you. I wanted to defend you from the inside out. I did it in many ways in your waking moments. Do you remember? Silence. Stone faced. But the torture did not stop when you were asleep. You just thought it had. We took you. We split me apart and we made what you are. You have been ignorant of what you are now. But soon. Kill enough people, and you will come into your true nature. The nature I have designed for you. Now tell me, are you scared? Are you eager? There will be great power be useful in the fight to come. Otter says visibly shaking with this time out of anger. Am I able to do any kind of like arcana check to better understand? I mean, I think I understand the basic there's some kind of ritual that he used to put his soul in me and like how, how do I undo it? Audra's just like racking her brain of like how do I fix this? Sure, you can make an arcana check um, or you can persuade oh. him to tell you through like more wisdom domination. I'll, I'll wisdom dominate! <laughs> <laughs> just... And how do I fix it? Natural 20! <laughs> Well, it's simple. Just go through that door. Which which door is he pointing to? The one in the top corner here. Hadra, like, looks at Chance, looks at Solus, and then turns and starts to walk out. Chance would be following, like. Basically, like, shoulder to shoulder. And so this is respectably ten feet behind. <laughs> <laughs> so let's you can walk next to me. He's fine. And you all enter out of the door. And Providence. 
Hello. Uh, have you come to kill me once more, little devil? Oh, oh, good, you're here. Wonderful. Sit. He's already sitting. Oh, wonderful. You're already listening. That's a start. No, no, I don't need to kill what's already dead. Besides, you're beneath me. Always were. Such grandeur for one in such a weak position. Hmm. Sure. You can think whatever you like. But I wasn't the one who had their child beat them. And I wasn't I the one who... the one whose magic is slowly killing them. The only thing powerful enough, powerful enough to take me out is myself, apparently. It tracks. What if you could cure that? Nah. No, you see, I, I subscribed to that poison called Hope a long time ago. You know, the one it seeps into your veins, your mind. For a time, I believed it would work, but... You know, that's one of the few things I never thanked you for. Getting rid of that false notion of hope. Too late, I can't bring it back now. Though I would. I would. Just to see what happens when you realise that your son is alive. And doing very, very well for themselves. Destroying your entire lives. Well, I'd call it work, but I don't think you've raised a single finger in your pathetic life. I don't even know why I'm having this conversation. You're dead. So... What does that <laughs> say about you? Willing to have conversations with dead men just to feed your own sense of revenge and ego. You are no better Sir. than you ever were. You may think yourself above me just because I am six feet under, but I still have the high ground here. You are still nothing more than the orphan that I took in, the orphan that I helped forge. <clears throat> have you forgotten me so easily, whelpling? Oh no, I remember you. I have to look at your fucking son every day. You know, I, that, that's one of the few things I have taken from you, your hate. I despise it, but it is useful at times, I will admit. So you are right, you did arm me and prepare me for this hate-filled world. So, thank you. I hope that this place treats you well. Then she just walks out. <laughs> the same smile that Solus had. Uh, you walk out and you find yourself in a beautiful room. Uh, Arazid is falling down the ladder, kind of like he seemed to have stepped through like a door and now finds himself with no floor in front of him. <laughs> There's something about it's that rooms. reaction that tells you this is indeed Arazid. Raining gnomes, hallelujah. Oh, wonderful. You know, Walks uh, over. Misa got a good price on a ring that does just that. On a what of what? You don't speak cobalt, do you? I speak draconic perfectly fine. Draconic is no cobalt. Cobalt is like draconic, but with strict toes. Right. Just leans over. 
you're alive. Um, I, 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 enough. Good. Get up. He rises. I just wish I could give the same answer. I'm sorry, I don't even know who you are. Ah. What do you be thinking, Zarazid? Not introduce it, mate, to your friends. Sorry, you're cutting out horribly and I missed who this was. I didn't introduce myself, I thought maybe you'd remember. <laughs> um, this is Anayo the Grand. Hey, oh, Anayo uh, is the, uh, the, the, the fucking, uh, sold me the, 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 the ring. Indeed he did. The one that we got killed by squad. Indeed yeah. He did. Most times, be almost ups here. She coming back for me again. I won't let that happen again. Somehow I mean, I don't know how much that matters now, but I won't let it happen again. Somehow it's me thinks that that does not matter. Me yeah. has been sent here only to offer you solutions. Okay, I, I, I'll i take those. I can offer you all the answers. Why is you the ways that you are? How's to stop it? Like, the way that I am being- Because there's a lot of ways that I am, and almost none of them are good. Exactly. Okay, I'm- I'm willing to listen. Yous- Yous nervous. Yous can tell. You want to know where yous comes from. Why is it it's your father's die? Why is- Why is- You universal Donna? Well, I don't know if that's real. I, I I was told that in this room, and I don't think anything in the, like in this in this place is real. Mm, you are a wise one. It is real. I don't think there's anything particularly special about my blood at all. It is real, and it is not. This place be partly real, partly dream. That's... Hughes cannot trust... many things. Does that include you? Oh no. That would have been a cooler moment. The kobold shifts and cracks apart and the sorrow bursts out of it again. Of course! It includes them. <sighs> you know, I thought you I told you to sit down and shut up before I left, but evidently I didn't. You cannot trust anything here. You cannot trust anyone. You cannot even trust yourselves. Isn't that right, darling? I fully take a step back. I'm sorry, who the fuck are you? <clears throat> Matria Alexandria Delaphos Doril Windberg Strice. At your service. Just call her Matria. You don't have to remember all that. I didn't I didn't remember all that. Gravitas, you wizard extraordinaire. Queen of this place. Right. And okay. you are the one with the disgusting blood. You even let animals feast upon you. <sighs> I 
I'm, I'm sorry, you're expecting me to respond? No, I know too Good. much about you already to expect you to respond. I was just savouring the moment before you come to me. You're going to try to kill me, and I am going to consume you like the rats that you are. Since your esteemed friend Arizid here last met me, I have become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. The Red Hand watches. Ta-ta! I think we gotta kill her. We didn't even come in here with that wall either. <laughs> well, I, I know what they said, that, oh, all of them, I guess, that you can't trust anyone in here, but I want to let you know that I trust you because I feel like if you were, like, some sort of weird, like, weird version of Providence that I, that was, like, a reflection of what I thought about Providence, you also would have been scared because I feel like I don't really know you that well, and you weren't really scared, so I trust you. I, I, I think I, we can trust each other moving forward, and I think that's good and okay. Is True Sight telling me any different? In what way? I don't know. I've never looked at Arazid with True Sight. I want to look at Arazid with True Sight. You look at Arazid with your True Sight, and you see that while they look on a very surface level, like exactly as you always remembered, there's also um a a a, a golden glow coming from their chest, from the core of their being. And as you stare even further, you see that that extends into all of their veins that sit in the shallows of their skin. Right, well, which way are we going? Oh, um, uh, I guess, which, you came, which way did you come from? That way. Points at the door down to the south. Okay, and I came from up there, so... Well, if this place, if we're not to believe this place, then maybe there's another door. Okay, let's, yeah, let's look around for another door. There is no other door in this room. I'm a miner, but I don't have a pickaxe, so I can't just start digging through the floor, but I think that'd be really fun. <laughs> um, let's- let's go back up. Maybe you can help me with something. Assuming it takes us to the same place, sure. And one by one, each of you steps through a new room and into a new veil of darkness. I might. Can I still feel Chance's hand in my hand? For a while. And then you feel like you know it. And the sensation of his hand being in yours fades. The exact moment that Roll20 decides to allow me to reveal this goddamn area. The exact moment that you step through a bridge and you see him on the opposite side of you. Hmm. Huh. Spooky. The pull is getting stronger here. You feel each step taking extraordinary effort to tread. You feel that your movement speed has been reduced by 10 feet. 
Oh no, whatever will I do with 50 feet of movement? <laughs> what will I do with 20 feet of movement? <laughs> what will I do with 50 blasted. feet of movement? Uh, does anybody need help getting across those gaps, Erezid? Providence? The gaps are like six, six inches big, so probably at Arizid will, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, Chance time. seems to be moving like at pretty well a normal speed as he just uses the boots to fly over, uh, like kind of arm like motion for Arizid to put his arms out so he can pick him up and bring him over. Oh, bridal style, bridal style, and he just leaps <laughs> into Chance's arms. Uh, what? Uh, for, mm. <laughs> Chance will just seem to really, like grumble a little bit as he just carries. Airs it over and sets him down. I give Arizid a big hug immediately. I give Audra a big hug, also, and I'm like, "Hey, did this place give you any like hor like uh, uncover any horrifying repressed memories that kind of make you question the very core of yourself?" You know, I'm gonna wait until we leave this place, and then I'm I'm gonna just we'll just see we'll just see if it's even real. We'll just see okay, if it's cool. Even real. Yeah, let's do that. Well, this looks somewhat similar to the um, huh. Sanctum. This kind of reminds me of... I saw this magical uh, ritual when I first walked in here. It's kind of a similar crystal. Huh. Oh, this reminds me of the place where the head mech is trapped over a pool of lava. I mean, there wasn't a big, like, stone demon thing as chance of motion towards it. Uh, but, you know, crystal in the middle of an area suspended over lava? A classic. Honestly, if I had a copper for every time that I walked <laughs> in sake. to a crystal area surrounded by lava, I would have two copper, which isn't much. But it's kind of weird it's happened twice. Can I kind of, looking at this area, figure out what it does? Uh, I mean... Clearly, something was going on. Sorry, you cut out for me. You can give it a go. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand on my chest, cast guidance on myself, and try to figure out what the fuck is going on here. Uh, since this is the first time Souls is seeing stuff like this, you'd like to figure out as well? Sure. So, 24 for me. Ooh, that's pretty good arcana! Mm-hmm. He's always had good arcana. <laughs> He's just quiet about it. Just never had a chance to roll it. <laughs> <laughs> it seems familiar, certainly. Um, what you see before you is some kind of manifestation, or possibly the real part of what Inqua designed. Mm. More likely, it is the castle's attempt to recreate the room in which the four orbs were made. It may even be resonating from Matria's soul herself, since she seems to now be trapped in the same hive mind that Matria is. Well, they certainly made him more ominous, that's for sure. Anyway. Huh? March into death. Only one way to move. I, I hold both arrows at and Chance's hands. <laughs> Sick of getting, I think you're a little way faster than me. You gotta wait up. It's I feel real slow in here. I, I I assume chance is helping carry on the real slow. Yeah, like Aris is moving like a really like like er obese gnome. Oh, you, you're not bonus action dashing. You don't have that ability. 
Oh, I do actually, but uh, it, I didn't think about it. So yeah, you can bonus action dash and still be going faster than Audra, honestly. As fast as his little legs will carry him. It looks ridiculous. Like he's just like <laughs> scuttling along. It just it looks it, it's 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 embarrassing. No, oh, we push on. We push on. The damn website broke for me. Hold up. That's all right. I tried to upload the map for the next room, and it's big, so... Roll 20 said now? Yeah. It's saying, mm, give me a minute. I don't really feel like it. Just get it together, Roll 20, God. I know, right? Embarrassing yourself. This is not a cute look. <laughs> Nearly fucking putting Ollie into every map. <laughs> Rip to a real one. Even Ollie is here there. in spirit. For shizzle. Oh, that's 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 a very nice tree. To be fair, this is very much a cut type of decor, so... <laughs> I'm so glad that my intuition was on point there. The purple is... I mean, I know it's very scary, but it's also low-key kind of pretty. This is giving me ideas for Halloween. Yeah, the hands at the end of the tree really add the detail. Yeah. <laughs> That's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine by one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's like eighty-one skulls to make up that that little set, like these sections. Well, that's assuming oh, that nice. the layers are only one deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, whether those so... act real or fake, we'll find out next time. <laughs> On Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> you may notice that you may above know. those, there are smaller skulls. Which indicate that these are only the, the largest species, like ogres. Oh, fun. Are we still slow in this room? You could not be slower. There is almost like a force that is actively trying to squish you against the ground. Every step is like wading through mud. Yes, even for you, Chance. <laughs> so, yes, obviously, By comparison. to degree than I was in. <laughs> But based on how you were moving before. <laughs> you are, your movement speed is now halved. And <laughs> minus ten. Is it, I don't, is it I don't minus ten move then, right? Now? Or... <laughs> you have like five <laughs> feet of movement, Arizid. I have two point five feet of movement. <laughs> I I assume it's minus ten then halved. Uh, I'd have it then minus ten personally. Wait, so I have nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say you're gonna have this. Let's just keep the zero if you do that. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I don't have five then, wouldn't I? Yeah. Right, yeah, now I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to work it out in a way that you still have at least five feet. Well, for those of us with, with 25, or you'd have to minus 10 first. Because <laughs> otherwise they'd have nothing. Here's an easy way to do it. If your name was not Chance, you have five feet of movement. Yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's accurate. Uh, 
because Chance still has 20 feet under that restriction. And climbing downstairs must be a nightmare here. with this. <laughs> and at the end of the room, you can just hear Matria humming a gentle funereal song. Man, you guys are right, she does look like a bitch. Does she? Demon. <laughs> Reminded this is Solus's first time ever seeing her. <laughs> it's, it's just her face is like that when she isn't making an expression. You can't even call it like you see it. Like, she's got her back to you. She's gone like full um um full Phantom of the Opera, mode. just messing with her. <laughs> oh, you keep up! No, it's just like the outfit, you know? <laughs> you can tell. I am your angel of music. I've got a bad feeling everybody stay spread out a little bit. As a oh, shoot. I need to... chance begins to approach this level of the stairs, a overwhelming graviturgical force pins you in place. Please make a constitution saving throw. Chance will try and resist. Uh, take a d6. It's not gonna help. you rolled whoa. Yeah, I rolled whoa today, I forgot. I was just looking at it. I had wheel for like four days in a row. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, a 12, I presume, is a failure. You are correct. Um, the force, like, pins you to the ground. Matria turns. You should be kneeling, slave. Absolutely not! Chance is literally, like, forced into, like, a kneeling position. I cast Guiding Bolt at her. Is that the range, though? That's 120 feet. Okay. Roll for that. Thirty-two. She reaches out, and like her hand um, is put between herself and the guiding bolt, it impacts her hand and it lights up with this radiant energy that you know is a guiding bolt hit. She looks at it and she just like licks the back of her hand. Glorious. And here I thought you had lost your spark. I see you still yearn for murder. <laughs> I yearn for you to shut up. <laughs> Very tired of this bow, and I need everyone, or I think we'll be like there by now, to roll a constitution saving throw. Do I need to roll a second? No. Even me? Am I in range? Yes. Um, would this be magical? Uh, it's technically a layer action. Okay. Does a 20 resist? 22 does. A 20 isn't enough? No, a 20 is enough, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, light game bosses are stupid DCs. <laughs> Audra and Providence are the only ones who are able to resist. Arizid, Inqua, Solus, you are all forced to your knees before your new lord. Oh jeez, I bet you do. my friend Inqua? Oh yeah. Just kind of took his loss as a given then. Forgot he needs to actually roll. It'd be easier if he were here. Nice. Okay. Not Inqua then. <laughs> he still has only five feet of movement, but that counts. Can I roll to understand what happened with the guiding bolts? Can I hit her with magic? Sure, make an arcana check. She's 
like something, all right. It's like she's absorbing the magic that you cast. She can't absorb everything. This place is made to absorb everything in the world, and I command it. From the moment you stepped inside, your wills became mine. All that is left is for you to give in. Okay, I'm gonna wanna. I'm gonna try to do something crazy. <laughs> Please, I live for the crazy. Um. In the mental and emotional state that Audra is in, she is going to try to reach out psychically to Bandai onto the castle and say she's going to try to convince the castle to eat Matria because Matria is so powerful and delicious and to obey her instead. To obey Audra instead. Mm hmm. Um, please roll me a persuasion check to dominate the castle. Can Chance see this happening through, like, Torrent? Because uh, I can replace one roll uh, before it happens. Like his body itself is held quite still by this graviturgical um, effect that's happening on you. But you'd be able to like see out of your periphery or maybe more sense from your bond with Audra. You hear her like take a deep breath and she closes her eyes. Uh, Chance through this magic and everything moves as though he is plucking a string. You roll an 11. Okay, so on persuasion that gives me an 18. Uh, to those who can see it, Chance's eyes flash uh, silver. I presume still? Yes. Um, you don't want to give her the 15? No. If Chance has any idea of what's going on or can see the potential futures, he wants this to fail. Because if it becomes indebted, uh, well, if Audra becomes the basically the leader of Rendion, then that is unknown consequences. Not something he's willing to take. Just FYI, Arizid, because I see you moving. You have been pinned in place. Damn it, I forgot. I'm kneeling! I went back two squares. Does, an, does anything happen on an 18? So, describe to me the process. You, like, you reach out... She, she takes in a deep breath, she closes her eyes, and she reaches out psychically. She's connected with Rendon already, you know, through those, like, wisdom saves. She, like, she understands the nature of this place. She understands kind of where they are sort of in this weird metaphysical space. And kind of reaches past Matria and to, like, the heart of this place. To where she can feel, like, the beating heart and, like, the deep, deep hunger. And I feel like something maybe even she doesn't fully recognize inside of her, maybe based on those rituals, kind of has that same hunger or at least it's been told that she has that and she's trying to leverage that connection to be like no i am your queen this and like to matria kind of gesturing sure. psychically this is just something else to consume providence is getting a little too close to matria for her liking she's going to attempt to once again force providence to kneel as well uh con save yeah you sense an unnerving uh, feeling as you can like you continue to be unaffected, and Audra, you close your eyes, you do that thing, you reach out, and you feel this sense of a hunger towards the greater good, the greater feast, one life versus the lives of everyone in, and then just the. A vision of Grove as seen through the eyes of a bird or a very, very tall building appears before you. And I think that is where we're going to end the session for this week. Oh my god, really? I don't even get to see the consequences of my actions! <laughs>
I just want you guys to know, if I get close enough, Machu is going to get a face full of sunbeam. Because <laughs> I can do that now. Um, anyway. Oh, I don't have that prepared. Oh, I've got plans. Well, yeah, I do as well. well. Can we the make... Consequences of your own actions. Are we able to make um, any rolls to break free of this graviturgy, though? There's a uh, mechanic in play there that essentially while she's concentrating on placing someone there, um, it's nigh impossible. But if her concentration was broken by, for example, someone attacking her, it's kind of like, it's like a supreme hold person. Uh, so there would be like saving throws involved. We just went in combat, so I didn't, you know, think to keep <clears throat> popping them up. Because, um, look, if you try and like start like spam rolling like saving throws when we're trying to exchange barbs before the bad things happen, it can get very um, messy and uncoordinated. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering if like when like the guiding bolt went out type thing, or oh, like. Okay. If that would have been able to, like, because Chance got pinned down and then the Guiding Bolt came out. Yeah. That didn't seem to affect her. Okay. So basically until somebody can actually get up there and hit her. I've got something if... else that might break a concentration. It's less attacking, though. <laughs> Enfeeblement. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled seduce. Um. <laughs> Vicious mockery. Now that, I'll make sure you roll a 15. <laughs> oh, I don't know, it sounds like 18 was maybe enough to do something. <laughs> That's like a throne, right? Or an altar. Or both. It's somewhere where I, c where I could sit. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Providence about to just turn into a bird. Well, you could break Matria's concentration from, you know, attacking her. Or you could break her concentration by, um, you know, pissing her off. This place. I was gonna say taking this place over, but one and the same. Yeah. We'll find. I that think out I'm next doing week. it. Decent. Mm.